in order for vitamin D to work, it's dependent on magnesium. If you have a magnesium deficiency and you take a lot of vitamin D, you are going to exaggerate that deficiency because the more vitamin D you take, the more magnesium you need. Both of them synergistically work together. Even if we think about the main problem with vitamin D toxicity, which is too much calcium in the blood, take a look at this research paper right here. Magnesium prevents vascular calcification. Magnesium is a natural calcium channel blocker. Too much calcium can cause clots. And guess what? Magnesium helps to control that process. Number two, zinc. The vitamin D receptor is dependent on zinc. When you start taking vitamin D and you're slightly zinc deficient, that deficiency can be exaggerated because the requirement of zinc goes up when you take more vitamin D3. What are the symptoms of a zinc deficiency? Your taste is not quite right or your smell. You may get acne or flaky skin or even lower amounts of testosterone because zinc is needed to build up testosterone. Vitamin K2. This is another one you should take. What does vitamin K2 do? Helps to prevent the buildup of calcium. The other function is to drive this calcium into the bone and the teeth. The last nutrient cofactor for vitamin D3 is vitamin A. And I'm talking about the active form of vitamin A called retinol. The receptors for vitamin A actually sometimes bind with vitamin D receptors as a complex. They both work together. If one of them is lacking, the other one won't work optimally. Vitamin A also helps keep calcium out of your arteries. 